Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Conversations with Calvin, We the Species. And it would take me probably a half hour, an hour, just to do the proper introductions. But I'm with Diane Raver, the founder of the Garden State Film Festival. I've been wanting to do this for so long to sit down and, and chat with Diane. So I'm jumping right in. Diane, uh, I'm so thrilled. So take it away, do a little bio, just a little background of yourself. Well, first of all, Calvin, it's a great honor and privilege to be with you today because you, because you're so tall, whenever I see you in the hysteria of the actual event, I know everything's going to be okay. You're always there with a smile and a pat on the back to say this is wonderful. And what that means to someone who gave birth to such an astounding uh, organization in the midst of Asbury Park when Asbury Park was not a destination that many people wanted to go to. Correct. It's been a great comfort to me over the last 20 years, Calvin, 20 years of our lives. So um, first of all, as you know, because you've been with me for so many, so much of it, uh, this event was born out of necessity, out of love, and out of a commitment to our community and to the legacy New Jersey holds in the film industry, which a lot of people had forgotten about when um, it occurred to me that um, New Jersey, the birthplace of this whole entire film industry in the United States, was not, um, not having its proper place in the, um, it, it needed a spotlight on what we did to to provide our country with a film industry long before uh, the 49 studios that were in Fort Lee moved to to Hollywood. So that was um, that, to to give New Jersey its its rightful um, credence in this industry and to help save our beloved Asbury Park, especially the Paramount Theater that was right. getting close to the wrecking ball. Was our, was our motivation and what a wonderful, enriching, fabulous journey. Journey, exactly. Thank you. A marvelous journey. Uh, what is your, uh, do you have a, a, a background in film before you came to GSF? Oh, yeah. Excuse me? Um, I was in the commercial business. I was the I, first I, woman president of a commercial production company in New York City. Far too many years ago, Calvin, than I care to admit to. But yes, I was. Uh, I broke some glass ceilings, and 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 now more than ever, I realize how astounding that was. That a little girl from the Jersey Shore could, you know, put on her big girl pants and 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 slay some dragons. Yeah, you know, I wanted to say something. I always, uh, and I I tell you this. Uh, I'm interjecting that the Garden State Film Festival. For me, and, and I'm and I always tell you I'm going to do this, and I will. Uh, I'm going to write an essay how the Garden State Film Festival was so transformative in my life uh, because having been there and the people and and uh, uh, where I am now is in part because of the Garden State Film Festival. So I promise you on air that I'm going to write that essay. Uh, why is the GSFF, the Garden State Film Festival? so important now well especially now as you if i can brag a little bit and i can't take any responsibility for it myself but the wonderful team that we've assembled over the years for foremost with lauren conkar Sheehy, who is now the executive director and um, these young people know all about the technology which calvin you and i both know we struggle with oh yeah um, we're able to make us in less than two weeks. And remember what people don't realize when they see our event, which you know garners 30 to 35,000 attendees on a normal year, is that we do, we do it from nothing. Uh, we are not, we are not uh, funded in the way other organizations that came after us might be, which is kind of a shame. We do it because Somehow the universe protects us because we do it from our hearts and our souls. And, and as you say, the, the ripple effect over the 20 years of all of the people we've started in the business and the boot, hand up to all of the young filmmakers and the, and the information that has been so enriching. Um, in my own family, uh, there was a situation where I saw a film on Lyme disease 
And years later, when one of my family members contracted it and all the doctors said it was um, psychological, there was no physical, I said, no, I saw the movie, it's Lyme disease, sure enough. And you know, we were able to, to get treatment for this person because I had seen the movie. Well, there, I did it for the community. I never thought that I would be, my family would be saved from, you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg. So many other people come up to me and say, this happened. I met that when this project was born. Yes. And thank you to the universe because through all of this chaos in our lives, it gave me purpose. And I get up every day knowing that I have a purpose in, in this life. And um, what a great, what a great honor and privilege. Uh, I'm the biggest fan. Just and that essay will come. So uh, changing direction a little bit, um, I'm looking, you know, you're in your office there and uh, uh, here's a hypothetical question. Uh, it's a one word answer, but during the pandemic, uh, excluding family and friends, uh, is there anybody living or dead you'd like to spend the day with, like in your office there? Say that again, I can say family? Uh, uh, no, excluding uh, family and friends, uh, who would you like, living or dead, to spend a day with during the pandemic? Wow. Yeah, it is a wow. Ah, uh, that's a tough one. And then we didn't rehearse this, and then I sprung it on you. I would Im immediately say, I'd have to pick two, Bobby, Please, Pastor pick two. Bobby pick Pastorelli two. and my husband, Carol Raver, would be my first. Perfect. But they're family and friends, so I well, think. That's I okay. Could. You know what? Uh, you There's no rules here, so that's yeah. perfect. Perfect. Moving on. Uh, back to GSFF, um, uh, are you working on plans for 2021? Yes, we are. We're work full steam ahead. By the way, everybody, Call for Entries is open now until December 1st. If you know a filmmaker, an actor, or a composer, please, now is the time because it gets more expensive to enter as you get closer to the deadline. So now would be the moment. Okay, uh, which is great to know. Uh, um, by the way, uh, how, uh, how do people get involved and, 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 well, and help? And we have this wonderful website called gsff.org. Uh, there's a volunteer tab if you'd like to volunteer. If your skills are a little more um, crew worthy, please pass that along in the application. And um, many hands light and labor. This is a huge thing to get off the ground, even in the COVID situation. Again, as I didn't really finish. Last year, we were the first film festival in the world to present on time, wow. you know, ones with lots of funding said, oh, we're going to, we're going to postpone, we're going to cancel. We did it in less than two weeks and built from scratch our own secure um, online live stream server and, you know, moved mountains yeah. To say I was proud would be an understatement. Uh, again, right. I can take no responsibility uh, except to wow. have been a cheerleader and to, you know, do anything that I could, like call people and email people. But the, my young people are just fantastic. And a big shout out to Sage uh, Del Valle, who um, is our IT person, and Kristen Dorado, who um, we couldn't live without, and, of course, Lauren Conker Sheehy. Of course. Of course. Uh any advice uh, to aspiring filmmakers, composers, uh, actors? As I always up? say, Cal, and you might attest to this, this is not an industry for the weak of heart. You have to have steadfast ability to roll with the punches, to pick yourself up and start over again, because it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a street fight, but... The rewards and 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 the, I mean, it's an artist's life, but you have to realize that you're gonna, people are gonna, you're gonna get a lot of rejection. But um, I mean, it's hard to believe now, but yes, I got a lot of rejection in my life. But uh, you just can't let it bother you. And I know how difficult that is. I was a sweet young thing from the Jersey Shore when I went off to New York. So, so we are winding down. Uh, I I always have I always play a game with my Rutgers hat. We have a couple of seconds. Uh, uh, here's the press pass from the Garden State Film Festival from 19, 2019, and and we actually are, believe it or not, we are out of time, and yeah, it goes so fast, Diane. Thank yeah. you so much, and you know what? You'll come back. We'll talk about it. 
Thank you so thank much. Thank you, WD.